brought up the fact that she likes rare, and I was like, oh, I, I just can't do the, the, the just brand new off the animal. And she's, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> On steak talks, dried it up, huh? Okay. So any any Dre time, steak dry vagina man. That's, you gotta be <laughs> yeah. careful with that. So anytime now when we're out in like a group setting and I'm thinking, okay, sex may still be very well on the table. If somebody brings something up, like even working on a car or doing anything manly that I know fucking nothing about, I'm like, shut it down, man. Shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you have to come to the bedroom with us and whisper like muffler. Radiator. <laughs> and you whisper that in her ear while I'm like trying to do something. Make the night work for the both of us. Uh, here, here's something I was thinking. Ian probably knows this too because he also works in food service. Uh, but the way you know if your food has been sitting for too long, like they didn't bring it out the moment it went up in the window, if your plate is hot. Yep. Yeah. Oh, because the plate means, isn't hot when they put the food on the there. That means the food is probably colder than the plate. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah it's, it's just a little a little service Interesting. for you. Hmm. Like, why, why is the plate so hot? Set it back. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Unless it's fajitas, then you probably want the plate to be a little that warm. Right. Than otherwise, yeah. 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 Fajitas. Speaking of, if I could bring up a, a question for you guys, and Ooh. I don't yeah. know if there's an right. order to this, but I just no. want to know, because I took uh, a 10-day trip last year to Japan, which was... Dope. The which was I mean I'd been waiting to do that since I was eight years old. Yeah. So to finally get to do it was the greatest travel experience of my life. Uh, well, be, uh, and because, also because just venturing back a little bit, you big anime fan, huge big nerd. sushi fan. Yeah. So this was mm. this was like your you're coming home. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and I, I have I actually like, I know is, I don't look like you guys, but I feel <laughs> like you guys. I play, I play Dungeons and Dragons every chance I get. I got cut off my my parents when I got to college. Uh, would give me like a little money for food yeah. um, when I moved out of the dorms. Mm-hmm. And at one point in time, they cut me off because they found out that I had been using all the money they were giving me for food for manga at the local comic book shop. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I have like two or three giant tubs of manga sitting around my house right now. But that's like that's the level that we're talking yeah. about. So, but it was also a phenomenal food experience for me because yeah. I went from uh, Okinawa up to uh, Osaka, over to Kyoto, and then up to Tokyo. Never made it to Hokkaido. That's next time, hopefully. Yeah. But every one of those is a different food experience from Okinawa, which is basically its own island. It's like Hawaii. Like they just got that into being like part of Japan. They still don't consider themselves like fully Japanese. To Okinawa, which is like the or to Osaka, which is like the food mecca of Kansai, which is the lower region of Japan, up to Kyoto, which is the historical district, basically yeah. up to Tokyo, which is you know anything and everything for everybody. It's the New York of you know East Asia. Um, every one of them was a food experience, and I took pictures of every single meal that I had, <laughs> and I posted them on Facebook, and I have them in an album, and I'm very proud of that album. Nice. Mm-hmm. But what is your guys's favorite? Uh, I guess culinary area, you know, Mexican, Italian. If you were to go to a country and and eat, what would what Shit. country would you go to, and what would you most be looking forward to? Shit, there. Sorry, just bring this on you. That's, <laughs> see, that's a tough one because I've noticed that, like, I'm very open to any kind of food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, if it's something like I want to try haggis at one point, like right. I want to go to Scotland and I want to try legit. Scottish haggis just to try it Mm -hmm. because I can't wrap my mind around what everything would taste like I just want those flavors I just want to know what stuff tastes like Uh, but that's that's the other thing too is that you have to try it where it comes from Mm -hmm. oh yeah you you can't have haggis in, in Bakersfield you know, right. you, like you have, you have to. I've had it at a Scottish s- festival and it was sausage. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Which regular, I guess, if you go to Scotland, is it, not just going yeah. to be like a, you, a bratwurst. Right, you need to be like eating these things on the cliffs of Dover, right. like looking over the water. I, I can't. Uh, uh, haggis is like all of the parts of the sheep stuffed into the stomach, and then it's like boiled or fried or something. Then it's served with of a sheep. You said of a sheep. Okay. Mm-hmm. I Which I mean, so, granted, regular like bratwurst, if you don't get it in synthetic casing, yeah. is in the intestines of. Right, 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 right. So it's it is basically a kind of sausage. Yeah, but so, it's a little more complex than what we normally think. No, so, I, I've so seen them cut into it, and it just kind of doesn't seem to be like formed. It just kind of falls. Up. But I mean, so it's which, all parts of the sheep stuffed in all parts of the sheep. It's like yeah, it's like the sheep yeah. innards stuffed in the stomach and then boiled. Cooked. I think so boiled it's like, or cooked. So somehow. it's like a tershipin. 
Pretty much. Let's, but yeah. a sheep sheep. A sheep sheep. <laughs> sheep, sheep. sheep sheep. That sounds like a Pokemon, if we're being honest. <laughs> a sheepception is what it is. It's there it is. Yep. Sheepception. Yeah. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> Boom. Sheepception. I'm in. I'm in. I just gotta commit that to memory. Sheepception. Oh. Stay in there. Um, yeah, I would actually, yeah, I'd oh, love shit. to go to Japan and try. That looks like a still from the movie Aliens. <laughs> like all the little things. Oh, it definitely waiting, does. Look at that. Yeah, yeah it does. Out, like, Whoop. snatch your face. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Sigourney Weaver is cooking that right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like to go to Japan and try like authentic Japanese sushi. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's there's also, I was watching this, uh, there's this documentary with David Chang, um, who owns restaurants he's a famous chef yeah um, really cool dude he uh, it's called Ugly oh, Delicious and it's on Netflix <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we're not sponsored by Netflix yet uh, but <laughs> if you have a chance go and go and watch it because their first episode is on pizza and it talk like yeah. they go to New York and they talk to this guy who does authentic like New York style pizza yeah. and then they go to Chicago and they talk about uh, Chicago style pizza and then they go to Italy <laughs> and they talk about Neapolitan style pizza and how like there's certain thing like you can only use a certain type of flour for Neapolitan pizza for it to be like there's rules to it. Yeah, like, there's, yeah, a, like there's a San Marzano tomato sauce. Has San Marzano tomatoes is the mm-hmm. only yeah. tomatoes they use. You have to follow these rule and there's like a commissioner of pizza. The first for rule Neapolitan. of Pizza Club. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but they they like at the end of the episode they order Domino's, <laughs> <laughs> and it's fucking funny because the the dude yeah. is like like this this guy who he makes pizzas but like people have to reserve spots in the restaurant like weeks in advance just yeah. to get this dude's pizza. And he's eating Domino's. He's like, yeah, it's good. It's not pizza. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> but like, but it's here. It's, it's like, have you house. ever seen those grandmas who eat Taco Bell? Like Mexican grandmothers who like oh, eat yeah. Taco Bell? I like those BuzzFeed. And they're, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like most it's of them like, are like, this isn't this? like, this what is what is the one I <laughs> But there's a few of them are like, yeah, it's good. Like, you know, it's not what... My right. grandmother made, but it right. tastes fine. Like, like yeah, I'd want to go to Mexico, get authentic street tacos. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, you can get those around here, but like, I still feel like going no, to Mexico. Yeah, no. well, part of it's the atmosphere. You want right, to be right, in right. the environment, yeah. you know, to kind of experience that. Food is more than just what you're putting into you. It's also, you know, the visuals and, and exactly. the, the other it's, senses that are involved. It's a, in yeah, it. it's a feeling. Uh, uh, if, if anything, I've, I've been to Rio Bravo, Mexico, and had. Um, I've had tamales from Rio Bravo, Mexico, and yeah, different world. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's I had not, twelve of them to make sure I ate them. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not like it's not like getting them from the guy selling them at the bar, and you're drunk and you're using this to fucking come down or soak up some of the alcohol so you can drive home. No, this is like this is like you're there. You're like you're you, it's in the air. You're feeling it. You're 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 living it, and ugh, it makes it so much better. Mm-hmm. Um, Jake, you got a you got a specific region you like? Uh, I so I, I have a, a tough time with this because, like, are, are we talking like just one food for the rest of our life, or where would I just no want no to no go? like if like the first place, if you could go anywhere in the world and you had an unlimited budget for food, mm. but it had to be one country. Yeah, you couldn't like country hop. You yet. couldn't say that. So like, if you I... go to Europe, like like I want to go to Italy in Europe because I want to taste Italian or right. Italian. I want to go to Greece because I love so, Mediterranean food. Like, and, yeah. and that's just and you have that one trip. What's the first place you would go? I, so okay, uh, just a little bit. So probably I would probably go to Japan because I've I've never had sushi from I love sushi I've never had sushi from Japan so probably Japan but it's tough because like I've been to Italy but I would love to go back uh, to get pizza um, mm-hmm. I was in Albania so a lot of these things are uh, stories from the military but when I was in Albania it's a third world country next to Croatia um, I had the best pizza I've ever had in my life in Albania. No oh, shit. Just hands down, I've never eaten anything like that. And I would love to go <laughs> back there. I know it sounds weird, but I would love to go back there. I'd also like to try. I was in Italy as a kid, so I'd like to go back there now as an adult and see yeah. what it's like. Yeah. And uh, there's this one, like, I have this soft spot. Right before I left Afghanistan, we went to this uh, restaurant in Kabul. Um, it was a Lebanese restaurant, and I had 
the best kebabs and naan that I've ever like. Like I mm. can't even explain it. So like, part of me is like, I would love to go back to Kabul to have these kebabs and the naan. Like the bread was just phenomenal. Like they slapped it on the side of this like cooking thing that that's over an open fire. You know, it cooks yeah. for like forty five seconds. They put on the other side for like twenty seconds, and you have fresh bread. And it's mm. like so. I guess like what you're talking about, like the experience is also yeah. important to to the food when you when you when you get to meet the people who are cooking your food you, you talk to them and even though like you can barely understand each other and you're from different worlds like food brings people together right yeah right uh, that's what and I so to... like no i just like it's hard for me to choose because mm-hmm. like i would i love sushi sushi is probably my favorite food and i would love to go you know to like a, just a guy who's been making sushi for 60 years and just have him like don't even order anything just like whatever you want to give me i'm gonna i'm gonna eat yeah it. you know like, like dealer's choice like yeah. let's roll like whatever you like that's what i want you know well, yeah go ahead <laughs> sorry going back to uh ugly delicious real quick um <laughs> there's one episode where they do barbecue and yeah. they, you know, they go to Pitmasters in, you know, Kansas, uh, Texas, all these places that are known for barbecue. And then they get yeah. Famous Dave's takeout. No, then, <laughs> then they go over to this uh, this guy in Japan who does. He takes like this specific type of wood and turns it into a charcoal, and takes like wagyu beef, like a f- thing like this big. And again, it's a it's a you have to reserve ahead of time like months. Mm-hmm. And he I think just the, the guy's name is like Hero or something. Like something you know. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, you're thinking of uh, Jiro Dreams of Sushi. Yes, which is yeah. also oh my god. Yeah. That's that's, that's that. on my Don't list of started. shit I need to watch on on Netflix. My yeah, list yeah. is so so long now. Yeah, all it's, food related. It's half food. It's like a quarter anime, and then it's a quarter of like back. Shows that I need to catch up on yeah. that are probably shitty, but whatever. But still, you have um, to know for sure. Yeah, like <laughs> that's that's. If I ever win the lottery, I'm just gonna I'm gonna donate a bunch to charity because I don't need a fuck ton of money, yeah. and then I'm just gonna travel and eat food and hang out. Now like, the, that's that's it. My my dream or my my dream trip. I'm kind of torn because yeah, I would I would love to. I would love to go uh, to Italy. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, wait. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Italy, definitely Italy. I would love to do all the pastas and all the Italian cuisine I could muster up. But mm-hmm. at the same time, I want the Japanese experience. Like, I want to go to a restaurant where that shit travels to you on a little train and you pick it up. <laughs> uh, like, yeah. like, like, I don't, I don't want to have to wait for you. You want to eat a live octopus? <laughs> or, or even just a spaghetti that somebody has, like, modeled the spaghetti into an octopus and hanging oh, them. Oh, what's that, uh, what's that called? I don't, is that a Japanese thing? Spaghetti puss? No. Uh, <laughs> the flying spaghetti monster? What? Rastafarianism? Huh? <laughs> no, they call Cthulhu it Cthulhu with box. meatballs? <laughs> The what you know? Something box. It's like it's the way bento box. Bento box. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Japanese? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's it's a it's a Japanese lunchbox. Is essentially what it is. It's basically like you take so like creative. Yeah. If you you take a box and it's segmented into different sections, and every section has a little something in it. And I will say that they are very very uh, aware of the visuals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's extremely aesthetically pleasing. Everything about it is very meticulous in the way that they do that. So yeah, when you talk about like bentos being, yeah. you know, very creative, a lot of that is the way that they make it both visually appealing and then also sensory well, uh, in yeah, terms of yeah. your, your taste buds and your smell. From, from what I've, I've been told or, or what I believe I remember um, is even talking about sushi, they brought up the fact that you know you you roll over a piece of sushi on the side and you've got a core and then an outer layer and then like a, a crust basically like they try and model things as much after like the earth or the sun or, or uh, you know just just kind of make things more I don't know what you, I don't know what you want to call it um, having trouble searching for the word? circle of life I'll take that it's very yeah it is very circle of life yeah very, very uh, 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 wow my brain, <laughs> my brain. The natural world stuff. is the best, like example. Yeah, I think of what, of what we can really achieve. Yeah. And so much time we spend, 
you know, with our with our steel structures and our you know machines and.